What are gamma rays? <clears throat> gamma rays have the smallest wavelengths and the most energy of any wavelength in the electromagnetic spectrum. Their wavelength is less than a tenth of a nanometer, meaning the wavelength is smaller than a tenth of a billionth of a meter. They are produced by the hottest and most energetic objects in the universe, such as neutron stars and pulsars, supernova explosions, and regions around black holes. On Earth, gamma waves are generated by nuclear explosions, lightning, and the less dramatic activity of radioactive decay. Gamma radiation is the product of radioactive atoms. Depending upon the ratio of neutrons to protons within its nucleus, an isotope of a particular element may be stable or unstable. When the binding energy is not strong enough to hold the nucleus of an atom together, the atom is said to be unstable. Atoms with unstable nuclei are constantly changing as a result of the imbalance of energy within the nucleus. Over time, the nuclei of unstable isotopes spontaneously disintegrate or transform in a process known as radioactive decay. <clears throat> the gamma knife uses cobalt-60 as its source of gamma radiation, which is a synthetic radioactive isotope of cobalt. Cobalt-60 decays by beta decay into nickel-60. As nickel-60's energy deteriorates, it emits gamma radiation. The radiation is then focused like a laser that our eye can't see into the focal point within the patient's skull. Gamma knife surgery is a unique method that delivers extremely focused radiation beams to a target area in the brain. Your head is positioned inside the radiation unit. During treatment, all radiation beams meet at a focal point with submillimeter precision. The individual beams are too weak to damage healthy tissue on their way to the target area but are very powerful when they merge at a single focal point. Remember that. Gamma knife surgery is a well-established treatment method used to treat selected neurological diseases. Gamma knife is not a normal knife. The doctor makes no incisions. Remember that. In most cases, a single treatment is given. This will involve four main steps attaching the frame, imaging, treatment planning, and the treatment itself. Brief sedation is administered by an anesthesiologist. Local anesthetic is also applied where the frame will be attached. Once the anesthetic has taken effect, the frame will be attached to your head with four pins. The frame remains on your head throughout the entire procedure to keep your head in a stable position during imaging and treatment. A coordinate box is used during imaging to provide reference points on the images for the treatment plan. After the head frame is in place, it's time for imaging. To the frame, are you connecting it to the actual bones of the, the skull? I mean, is it like tightened down with that? It's pressure fixation. Mm -hmm. So it's to the first tablet of the skull, right. not through the bone, mm -hmm. but all through. You're locking onto the, yeah, to the skull. It's there. Although these imaging studies may have been done before, they need to be done again with the frame on to determine the exact location, size, and shape of the target. And anesthesia, conscious sedation, anesthesia. From there, they recover and they go to MRI. So everything's relative to the frame. Okay. And that's how the space within is how they target it. Okay. Whatever we're treating. So, and that's why you're not doing the full body because you're not going to put something Can't in the frame full body there. frame. And yeah. then once the images have been taken, you can rest while the doctors and a radiation physicist develop your treatment plan. You can't see it, but he's literally going from the top of the head down to the bottom of the head. The brain. And they're trying to find out which part to focus the camera rays to do the knife surgery. Just, uh, I, they do the imaging first with the headgear on, so you just go and... You go through and identify each of the individual outline where we think the different tumors are. Okay. Once we've got 
kind of define the size and shape of the tumor, and then we'll decide where you need to put shots of radiation. Right 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 by putting multiple small doses in different areas, you can be able to shape the outline of the radiation to whatever the outline of the tumor is happening. Usually the tumors will get smaller but not completely disappear, but they probably just change the cells so they can't no longer so can grow or multiply. For security, the final plan is rechecked and approved. Once the treatment plan is complete, the actual treatment can begin. The treatment is silent, totally painless, and will usually last 30 to 90 minutes, depending on the exact size and shape of the lesion being treated. Box. So this box in. really tug, it'll throw a fault. This will sense that something's going on and it'll kick them out. But okay. yeah, I've had that question, like if they sneeze or something. No, that doesn't do anything. Um, but if they kind of get moving a little bit, it'll just, this senses it and it'll just throw an error and then it'll just drive them out of the machine. Is there anything else physics wise that uh, might be applicable for it in terms of besides the gamma process itself? Yeah, I mean the real physics part is the defining the coordinate system um, with that, you know, with the different imaging boxes, which did you see those? Mm -hmm. uh, so that's, that's the real physics part, is that you're defining this coordinate system based on this box, and then from that coordinate system, you're able to know how to move the couch to get whatever particular area in that center. So that's a big, that's a big physics part. And then obviously, the physics of radiation and how it interacts with materials and those sort of what they use now is they just simulate that the head is water mm -hmm. when that's not actually the case. There's bone and different tissue in there, and so air in some cases. So um, the, the software has been, uh, over the course of time, upgraded to allow you to use, uh, for example, a CT scan. And then the CT scan um, gives you information about what material is in there, bone, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the different you know, uh, brain matter assign it a value that then you can use to more accurately calculate the dose instead of just saying everything's water. So those parts are really heavy physics stuff. The basic is you have this cobalt that you uh, put into a reactor and then um, over that process it becomes radioactive and then it decays and as it decays it gives off these uh, mm -hmm. the gamma rays. And there's two different ones. Uh, they're roughly the same energy. Uh, and the energy, and that's how you get the, the radiation. How do you direct the gamma rays? I mean, I mean, would they just go in any direction? Yeah, so they'll just go in any direction. So what they have to do is create that very machine pollinator along with these tubes that um, focus it. Okay. So you okay. have to basically steal or tungsten. 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 Yeah. tungsten. Yeah. Except that. Precisely focused beams of radiation are directed to the treatment area. Gamma knife treatment is painless and allows you to quickly return to your normal routine. Gamma knife surgery is a unique method that delivers extremely focused radiation beams to a target area in the brain. Your head is positioned inside the radiation unit. During treatment, all radiation beams meet at a focal point with submillimeter precision. The individual beams are too weak to damage healthy tissue on their way to the target area but are very powerful when they merge at a single focal point. Once treatment is completed, the frame will be removed. The effects of the treatment will occur over time. Radiation treatment is designed to stop the growth of tumors or lesions, which means the results will be seen after a period of months or even years.
remember that.